Hi guys, this is Bufinet. You welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how to get rid of this low storage. Your device is running low on internal storage space. So let's see what's causing the problem. So first we have to touch the low storage and as you can see out of 5.63 GB I only got 112 megabytes in my internet storage and that's what uh, Kindle is complaining about and if you look at my SD card storage I got out of 60 GB or um, 69.6 GB almost I got uh, all of it free which is annoying so why things are not moving to the SD card anyways so let's go and touch the internet storage and you can see here what things are taking most of my storage um, apps and games 1.63 GB uh, miscellaneous 1.84 GB which is really a lot of um, amount of storage that it takes if you click on the miscellaneous and you come at the bottom others and you can't do anything about others which takes 1.83 okay next step is to go to the apps and games just touch it and now look for the apps that you think you would not need them anymore and uninstall them for example I'm not using real racing 3 anymore so just touch it and uninstall it and do you want to uninstall this app click OK and this is how you can uninstall and look again for more apps that you think you would like to remove to free up some space next thing to do is to look for the apps that you can move to the SD card you touch here you can't do it it's grayed out touch this one it is here grayed out so these all are SD card compatible so if I will touch this move to SD card would appear so you just click, click touch this so they will move it now to the SD card so if you have an SD card and you were able to move some of your apps and games to your SD card now the next step would be to clear the data or the and the catchy from your apps so click on an app this one takes 162 megabytes uh, data as you can see this is a really a lot of data and remember if you clear the data there is a potential that you will lose your unsaved data you might lose your uh, game files and information so be ready for it so what you got to do is just clear data this will remove all data for this application including save content accounts and settings this application will remain installed on your device you should only clear data if application is seriously misbehaving or you want to have a clean installation of the application you can click OK and you can see it's totally cleared the data and it should have opened us more the next thing is uh, another app one thing that you can do which uh, would obviously would do very minimum harm to your application but still will remove some data is the clear catchy so you just click clear catchy it, re it reduces the amount of storage we got 164 which is not a lot and it comes down to 12 one last thing that I should not forget to mention is that when you go to your setting and you go to storage it's very important to make sure that all these are to the right side 
which uh, after having an SD card it would any future apps and in future stuffs coming to your fire hopefully it will get to your SD card so remember to turn them all on so you have to then go to your Amazon Drive for Windows and then save the application which makes you to save an and file then run the file click install then it finds its place here at the bottom as you can see then you got to log in into your account after filling the information just press the sign in button then this appears, just click this gives you this uh, information about what's new, what's not new close it if you want to read it before closing, obviously and here you can select what to select to up uh, upload to your drive I don't want to select any one of these so do whatever you want with this currently uh, prime users and who people who bought the device like fire get 5gb free so if you click on manage storage it will show 5gb free with no additional cost you can get 100 GB by paying 17 pounds and for a year um, and it shows here that I almost have no files stored on my Amazon Drive and you can double check that from your tablet whether you have anything installed or not or anything uploaded to your cloud or not so to check what's on the cloud you should click on docs app and then you can see local storage on top and cloud at the moment I don't have anything on the cloud but obviously I can create things and hopefully send things to the cloud and then access it from anywhere and I can then remove it from my local uh, internal storage after you have connected your fire to your PC this symbol would appear or something similar and then just double click on it then you will have you will see storage device and internal storage this is the, where the problem is just click on the internal storage and try to get rid of things that you don't need for example, why were I didn't even used? So I can just click and delete. And looks like there is a video here. You can double click, try to play it. So if the video is nothing useful or useful, whatever, just move it over from the internet storage by right clicking on it, click on the cut and you can put it in the storage device and in the DCMI camera and just paste it there so that clean up some space so go back to fire go back go to downloads and select everything except the attachment right click cut back to the storage device download folder right click paste and this time it worked so don't select the attachments and the other stops at the same time this should kind of free up a lot of space I would say so if I will go back now it became 900 so I'm almost reaching 1 GB so download is empty let's see documents as you can see there are some documents here 
which uh, probably they are registering some information about some books or something so you can play around with it you can just create a folder on your PC and make a copy of it there and delete it from your SD card uh, from your internet server. so if I cut it and then go to my desktop by clicking here in this corner and right clicking quickly creating a folder and calling it fire for example open it and paste them here it's not even it doesn't even need to be in the internal storage and then so if you find it hard to connect uh, your fire to the PC or laptop uh, another thing that you can do which I find it very useful is to install a cleaner app um, to do that you have to go to app store but obviously you need to delete a couple of apps or install a couple of apps before to be able to use or to be able to install a new app so you go to search after going to the app store and typing C C it's C cleaner and just touch it it opens got a quite a good review just click on get download and now the download is in process after the download is finished click on open some reason it likes to open in this way and then you can see the analyze button just touch the analyze it's not analyzing the information all the apps stuff like that so it will put everything in one place So analyze is complete as you can see catchy I don't know if pronouncing is right or not probably not but who cares um, just for example just touch the catchy and then at the bottom here clean would appear just then say clean and then just remove a lot of data for you then Press on back then press on analyze again as you can see you got some other very useful thing like manual cleaning app and then something like sky app here just touch it and it comes back to this place and uh, will allow you to manually clean it which obviously you can just uh, clear data but again remember this would erase all your information so only do it when it's absolutely necessary and you have no other choice and remember to back up all the information and go back I really find this app useful and it's just uh, start clearing your app especially when you can't connect your app to your your fire to your pc i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you learn how to or you are successful to clean up your fire please do share this video put a thumbs up and i will see you next time don't forget to subscribe